Hi guys, it's Carrie at River City Pilates and today I am talking all about balance. Balance is one of those things that we hear all the time from our clients that is really one of their kind of goals in exercising. Right? They want to feel confident that they can balance and navigate life without feeling worried that they might fall or lose their balance, just doing regular activities, out hiking, um, whatever it is. So today, I'm gonna give you three pretty simple things that you can practice at home to get better at your balance. You could do these all in a row, of course, but even better would be to maybe take the one or two that you like and kind of incorporate them into your life, maybe on a daily basis so that you can practice balance because balance is one of those things we really need to practice to be good at it or to improve at it. All right, so all you need today is yourself and something to hang on to to guide you with balance. So I'm here in our lobby and I'm right near this little counter so that I can Put my hand on the counter. A wall would work as well. Just, just something to support you if you need it. All right, our first one that I'm going to show you is, I love this one because it is going to get mobility and strength in your feet and ankles. And let me just tell you, having mobility, flexibility, strength in your feet and ankles is so important when it comes to balance. I always call the feet and ankles kind of the um, first line of defense. Um, in your balance. So if you're walking along and something kind of you like step on something or whatever, the first thing in your body that kind of has to adjust are those feet and ankles. And if your feet and ankles are really stiff and they're not able to, to shift and navigate, then the rest of your body has to do more work to try to hold your balance. So having healthy feet, ankles, so important. All right, here it is, simple and easy. Be near something, especially the first time, but of course, course, you could later on do this not holding on to something. So all you're going to do is you're going to stand on one leg so we get some good standing leg balance. You're going to take the other leg and you are going to trace out the alphabet with your foot. So I'm going to do it A, B, C, simple I told you, D, E, F, we'll go through the whole thing, G, great standing balance work on the leg that is here, and then great strength and mobility in the other foot as it's going along. So of course, you're gonna to wanna to do this on both legs. And again, if you're getting comfortable with it and you can put your hands up in space, put your hands up in space, but be near something if you need it, okay? And I love this, this is an easy thing you could do anywhere. You can do this alphabet with your foot and ankle while you're sitting as well. So this is a great one if you're looking for ways to add it in. Maybe you're like sitting like watching your favorite show on TV. Sit there and do these. Do your alphabet while you're watching it. It's really gonna help foot, ankle, mobility, strength help you with your balance. All right, that was number one. Number two is again quite simple. It is practice your one leg balance. As simple as lift a leg, be near something so you can help, and just practice balancing on one leg. You'll feel, you can see my foot and ankle having to adjust, having to help you balance, just practice. So one of my favorite tips comes from one of my clients, Serena, shout out to her, who she, when she puts something in the microwave, she practices her one leg balance. And I love that because it's so, it's part of her life, like she just does it, right? So if you can find some trigger where you're like, okay, every time I do this, I'm gonna put my um, foot up and just balance, 
Let's see how long I can balance for. Fabulous. No right or wrong for how long you can do it, right? Maybe if you want to have some goals, you want to time yourself, great, but just practice. <laughs> All right, and number three. This one comes from Pilates. This is called our standing footwork in Pilates, but you don't need to know any Pilates to do this exercise and to do it well. So I'm standing with my feet about hip width apart. You do want to have pretty good alignment on here. You don't want like one leg turned out or turned in. You want to have those legs in a nice straight line. Again, have something to hold on to, especially the first few times you're doing this. You can actually turn in like face a wall and kind of put your fingertips on a wall to do this as well. Actually, maybe I'll turn in this first one to show you guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay tall. I am going to kind of pull my stomach in and engage those core muscles because that is going to help me. I am going to first rise up onto my toes while to my feet. I'm going to bend my legs. This does not have to be a very big bend. It's not a super big squat. And then I'm going to kind of hold there for a moment and roll my feet down, my heels down. And that is a stretch in the backs of my calves and then come back up. So I'm rising up, bending down, rolling down through my feet and coming back up. Now notice what I'm not doing is this. All right, I am trying to stay nice and upright, engage my core and in my head, even though I'm leaning a little bit forward, I'm thinking about could I go straight up? Could I keep length in my back, bend my knees, roll them and come up. The reverse of that would be to bend my knees, bend my knees, and I'm going to go till I can't go anymore. It's a big calf stretch. I can't keep my heels down. And then at that point, I'm going to hold there and I'm going to see, could I push through my feet and roll up to the balls of my feet, stand up and then roll back down. So it's a bend, rise up, stand up and come back down. And then again, of course, if you're working on balance, use less and less and support to do that action. I want to show that just once from the front so you can see that I'm working. Um, I'm going to do the first one where I rise up, bet my knees. I'm working to keep my legs in a straight line and not do this kind of funny stuff. Roll my feet down and then come back up. That is such a great exercise from strength, mobility in our feet and ankles, and really just whole body. We're going to get some good strengthening through your legs and hips, and just a very functional exercise because you got to balance along the way. All right, those are three exercises that are so easy to do at home to work on your balance. Try them out. Maybe try to incorporate them into your life. They only work if you do them on a regular basis, but I promise if you start doing them, you're gonna feel more confident in your balance in your life. Thanks for joining me today. Find some more videos on our YouTube channel and at our website at www.rivercitypilates.com.